LaptopKey.com, your source for replacement keyboard keys. Notice, when trying to repair your laptop keyboard keys, searching by the laptop brand and model may not always be enough information. Many times laptop manufacturers produce keyboards that look the same on the outside, however have differences underneath the keys. The differences include the hinges, retainer clips, and cup color. To help you find the correct tutorial for your key, we have created a searchable database at LaptopKey.com. Simply go to LaptopKey.com, select your laptop brand, model number, and then a visual list of key types will appear. Select the video tutorial that matches your key. That's all. You're now ready to fix your keyboard. Okay, so we're going to show you how to install your key onto your keyboard. And we're going to start by looking at the metal plate or hooks that are on the keyboard. You can see at the top and bottom side of the uh, the key there's two small hooks. One at the top and one at the bottom. Then there's a larger one over here to the right. But make sure to look at your uh, key because sometimes the single large hook can be on the other side or maybe even top or bottom and the position for those metal hooks determine the position for these pieces here so what we're going to do right now is click the hinges together then put them on the keyboard and then click the keycap on top of that so you want to start with the large piece and you can see at the top corners it has pins and it also has pins at the bottom corners but in the middle it has a fitting kind of so they're more like holes so that's where the other piece is going to click into now make sure not to put this whole piece upside down because it'll look the same but it won't function so you do that by feeling the vertical bars here if you feel a bump or if you feel that the piece breaks into several pieces that faces the keyboard and if you feel the top it's supposed to be one smooth piece the only thing that's different is the top horizontal bar. That one's thinner. So now that you know the position for this, put it down in the right position for now. So we can look at this piece. And this piece has two pins at the top. Those are going to click onto the keycap. The pins in the middle are going to click into the large piece. And the bottom bar is going to go underneath the large bar, I mean the large metal hook that's on the keyboard. So make sure not to put this piece upside down like that by feeling underneath the vertical bar as well. If you feel it uh, has bumps underneath, that faces the keyboard. And on top it's supposed to be one smooth piece. Alright, so this is the right position for that. Our position for this, we want to turn both pieces upside down right now in order to click them together. And we're going to put the small piece over the large piece. Now we're going to insert those pins that are in the middle of the large uh, of the small piece into the hole that are in the middle of the large piece but at the same time we have to put the bottom bo uh, the top bar of the small piece underneath the top bar of the large piece so just like that you put the pins in and that's it now you push down on it both pieces are one 
flip it over again on its right side then we're going to put um, align the large hook to the small bar on the large piece I mean on the small piece so go ahead and put the uh, bottom bar of the small piece underneath that large hook on the keyboard then you hold that down now we're going to stretch the hinges towards the opposite side in order for the other two hooks to grab onto the pins that are at the corner and once you feel or see that the, the clips are underneath that you know those two metal hooks you can get your keycap and just put it in the center and push down evenly on all four sides and that's it now for the larger bars it's the same process only the difference is this metal wire that goes behind the key itself so I'm going to show you how to install that the keycap has, well this is the right position for it and we're going to flip it this way for uh, just so that there's no confusion because if you turn it like that then you might be in the wrong, wrong position so flip it over and you can see it, this keycap has two fittings at the top and four fittings at the bottom so the two that are in the the four actually that are in the middle are going to click onto the hinges and the two that are at the very right and left and also at the very bottom of the keycap are going to click onto are going to grab onto this metal wire so what you need to do is put this at the very bottom push down on it and then the other side as well now uh, you, you know, put your hinges in and <clears throat> we're going to open the wire up like that so we can put the wire into these holes or metal plates here on the key uh, fitting so go ahead and uh, you know put the key in the right position and you pick it up like that uh, put the wire down and put the wires inside those holes now you push the keyboard down evenly on all four sides and there you go same thing for the uh, the space bar here laptopkey.com your source for replacement keyboard keys notice when trying to repair your laptop keyboard keys searching by the laptop brand and model may not always be enough information many times laptop manufacturers produce keyboards that look the same on the outside however have differences underneath the keys the differences include the hinges retainer clips and cup color to help you find the correct tutorial for your key we have created a searchable database at laptopkey.com Simply go to LaptopKey.com, select your laptop brand, model number, and then a visual list of key types will appear. Select the video tutorial that matches your key. That's all. You're now ready to fix your keyboard.